Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, because it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We got some cool stuff this week. Uh, we got some returning channel sponsors and some new sponsors and something that I purchased without sponsorship. So we'll start with the returning sponsor. And they were here just, just last week. <laughs> and that would be Uliber Magnet. Y'all remember Uliber Magnet? They, they have all kinds of cool magnetic stuff. Uh, they were wanting to, to sponsor a video. I said, well, I, I, do have, I do have a need. And that need is on my tractor. And I don't have any way to mount my phone. I don't ha have any place to, you know, when I'm on that tractor. I have to stick the phone in my pocket or worse, sit on it to have it available. So what Uliber Magnet has sent us is a universal cell phone holder combined with, I guess I should show you the unboxing, combined with a magnet. It even comes with a handy dandy transport bag. Some, some assembly required, not much. I bet that's thread locker. It is thread locker. Always good to have some thread locker on hand. This is going to work great with all of my stuff. I mean, you could use that on an e-bike. Side by side. All right. So now that we put that together, I'm going to open some more boxes. And then we'll go take a look on at how this, how well, where and how it's going to work on the tractor. Next. All right. Our next product is from Garden Reet. Garden Reet. They have sent us, they've sent us some stuff. Garden Reet specializes in outdoor lighting. Let's take a look what this is. This is an accent light. 72, uh, it's got a 72 inch wire lead, a uniform finish. Comes with instructions. Oh, that's heavy. This is brass. Pretty sure this is a brass fixture. Open it up, take a look. Oh yeah. Very nice. Plastic stake. And we have some wire nuts. And we have a little link. This is a uh, 2.5 watt, 12 volt, 9 to 17 volt AC DC. Well, that's just pretty right there. Put in just like that. Put that on there just like that. Oh, I'm, I'm liking this. And then we put that on there. It's adjustable. 
so you can adjust the depth. Very nice. I gotta figure out what we're gonna be lighting up. I got I got I gotta do some light lighting work today. The weather's supposed to get cloudy, dreary, and rainy for the next Believe it or not, in July, we've got a week's worth of possible rain. I like that. That's pretty. You already saw it, didn't you? You saw it behind me. M Light reached out to me and said, we want to present products to the, to the Dude RV crowd. We want to sponsor a, an episode of Friday's Finds. What do we have that you're interested in? Actually, it wasn't quite that emotional. They they said we'd like to work with you. What do you, what do we have, or what what do you need? And I said, you know what I need? I need I need some seat covers. <laughs> Cause here I'll show you. Before we before we get into the unbox, let's let's go out here. Over the last several years, I've been driving this truck since 2018. You know, I spilled some coffee. It's just fabric seats anyway and been sweating on them so they they need some refurbishing what better way to refurbish it than to cover it so let's see what they sent us let's take a look at this car seat cover Dendy carrying bag. Now look at that. Ooh, that's that's gonna be pretty. I'm excited already. Hadn't even got the package open, and I'm really excited. Whoops. Instructions. Be careful not to cut the emergency. Oh. Synthetic leather. Yeah. I don't like that. That's stylish. That goes on my headrest. Okay. So let me let me open some more boxes. Let me open some boxes. A couple more. And then we'll we'll start doing stuff. When the opportunity with garden reet arose, I had already been pondering and thinking about my lighting situation out here because it gets really dark. And Yappy likes to, she likes a lot of light when she takes her puppies out. And I, I've got a set of uh, a, some 12 volt floodlights. We turn that on and it lights the whole thing up. I'm not a real bright light kind of guy. I prefer accent lighting. Uh, subdued lighting. I want to want to experience the night. So when Garden Reed, the that when the opportunity that came up to work with Garden Reed, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all out, uh, and I'm I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna have up lights. I'm gonna light up these trees. That's the plan. And to do that with 12 volt lights, I gotta have power and so I went and I found the Sunview low voltage transformer for 120 watts 
It has a photo cell sensor so that it turns on at dusk, turns turns on at night, turns on at dusk, or turns off. We have a timer so you can set it to come on at dark and then go off at midnight or whatever. And it is weather tight, so I can mount it outside. It comes with a user's manual. Wait a minute. Wiring. And there it is. So we'll be able to power some 12 volt lights. Speaking of 12 volt lights, we got another one from Garden Reef. Let's see what the other one that they what else they sent us. Here is the second one that Garden Reef has sent us. This one is actually aluminum. So it's a little more cost effective. A little more utilitarian in appearance. In appearance. Well, I like that look though. Let's see, we gotta put a bulb in it I think. I think that's what's in here. LEDs. And we have a stake. And we have some watertight nuts. So what I'm going to do is a couple of different lighting scenarios this evening. We're going to light up some stuff. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, I gotta go do a seat cover thing. Oh, before we do that, whoop, what are you doing? Where are you going? Before we before we do the seat cover thing, let's go down to the track. That is, I really like this. It's got springs, kind of isolates it from vibration. There we go. Happy man now. Don't have to sit on the phone anymore. Or I can put it back there. I like that. <laughs> and once it's on, it's on. I'm gonna go work on the truck. The instructions are very good. It's very, very simple installation. You wanna make sure you get your, your anchors and your hooks in place. And they, so you've got the anchors that goes between the seat and the seat back. And then you have the hook that goes on the front under the, the hook. We have pockets in the back so you didn't, didn't lose the back pocket and we have pockets in the front which you didn't have before make sure you make sure you empty your seat back pocket before you put the thing on otherwise if you have anything in there <laughs> it's hard to get it out it looks way better I like it a lot I even have a, a headrest cover very cool. All right. I need to go work with some lights before it gets dark. We're ready for dark. Just wanted to show you how I've mounted the, the sun, sun vi, sun, sun vi, sun v. This is actually very simple to program. You go, if you know how to, to program the microwave, then you can figure this out. Mounting is real simple. Get a little metal bracket. You have a photo cell that you can put at a different location that actually has a cap that can go on there or you can you can have it operate with the photo cell or with the clock with a timer so i've set it up for the timer i may change that in the future but after dark we're gonna we're gonna turn on some lights and we're gonna we're gonna see how those lights work and 
how well that transformer powers them up and yeah so i'll see you after dark so i have another box for us to open in case you don't know in the event that you're not aware of this we live full time in a motor home space is always at a premium as you can see my wife is a vegetarian and she's always complaining about not being able to find arugula and it, when she does find it it goes bad real fast so i've been thinking on that and and i want her to be happy while we're living in this small space and i and i do have a, a couple of places where i might just be able to grow her some arugula one of those is right there where that bug trap is and the coffee maker uh, and the that's kind of dead space and we move the coffee maker there when we're getting ready to cook in the kitchen but that's not its normal place uh, the bug catcher works great but to make the wife happy to make to make her happy and feel at home i want to utilize turn that space into a little greenery a little live action plant growth grow going on in our motor home the coolest little thing this is the mufga mufga hydroponics growing system now, i've never worked with hydroponics i've done lots of outdoor gardening but i've never done hydroponics unfortunately this is a turnkey little hydroponics kit with stakes the light is adjustable it comes with baskets it's a four holer so you have one hole for filling your maintaining your solution and then four net pot locations that's your growing medium so these fit down in here like that and then those fit in there like so we have solution fertilizer and then little seed sprouting domes. That's a plug to go in the drain or the fill hole. That way you don't have light getting in. Let me get it set up and going and we'll, we'll check it out. So it has a little pump. It sends water directly to the little basket. The max fill line. I have a light. There's two different light cycles. There's the veg, and then there's the fruits and flowers. And then we can turn off the pump while we're servicing it. Let me get some plants going and I'll, it'll be a while. It'll be a while, but you just keep an eye in the background when you're watching the Friday's finds and I'm inside. And uh, I'll, I'll revisit this. Look, look, you actually see how much water we have in there. Let me put some seeds in it. So it's been five days. I put two seeds per each. It may be too much. I don't know. <laughs> Never done this before. All right, I'll check back in. This is the Garden Reet Brass Uplight. It, it does the job. It lights up the flags. I like it. The Garden Reet Floodlight. This is the aluminum body. Oh man, look at that. It lights up the flags. Perfect. I like that. All right, let's go see what it does in the tree. So the, the pencil spot 
works extremely well to highlight and accent things such as hollow trees. So I'll put it right there. And it's uplighting the inside of the old broken tree trunk. And you, you really can't see it's there during the day. And here's, here's what it looks like after dark. This is a half hollow tree that's broke off. Kind of geeking on it. Wow, that is so cool. This is the pencil spot, the brass pencil spot. That is just so cool. I know this, this video is not doing it justice, but it's, ah, I like that pencil spot. I like this. Nice accent light. And our other one works. Ex it's it also is rather nondescript, being being black. Uh, I need it really in some foliage, but it ex the floodlight works really well at uplighting the understory, the underside of these branches. Like with this American holly, the branches droop and it looks really good at night. So here, here's what it looks like after dark. This is the floodlight. We're checking out that aluminum floodlight. So this is an Ameri American holly that kind of drapes over into this old post oak over here. And then there's a, a vine of some kind. So wow that's awesome i like that effect i only wish they'd have sent me more than one light so that we could we could step back and so yeah there you go that's what we're talking about and the transformers working as advertised lights are coming on going off uh, based on the clock setting yeah so landscape lighting it's not hard. So we're on day three of this video project. Uh, so the last two nights I have moved these lights around trying to figure out what's the best, the best usage for two, two up lights, two 12 volt lights. I need more. And that brings us to the end of this Friday's finds video. All of these items can be found on Amazon. I am an Amazon influencer and I do earn revenue from Amazon transactions. So with that being said, I'll put a link up in the card there and links down in the description below. Links that are direct to the product as well as a link that'll take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list where everything that I've done on, or talked about on Friday's Finds is in that shopping list. Your business is most appreciated. I know the vendors would really appreciate you just stopping by even if you don't make a purchase but it helps their metrics if you go visit their list. It's just like with YouTube. If you like, comment, subscribe all of that helps the channel's business metrics so the algorithm works with us not against us so your participation is most appreciated if you've not already i'd truly be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you I do appreciate your time and attention. It means a lot to me that you spend this time with me. And for our patrons, your generosity is most appreciated. Thank you. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?